from the creature of folklore that helped farmers with their daily chores to a camera that helped popularize photography among young people. In today's episode, we're gonna be looking at the brownie. You see, George Eastman's genius laid in the fact that he could recognize that by producing cheap cameras and advertising them to young people, not only will he make photography more popular, but it will also drive the sales of his film. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at these beautiful little cameras. What I have in front of me are three beautiful brownie cameras. Now, they're not the original brownie cameras from 1900s. You see, the original camera, the design was slightly different. The design of the original camera did not have a hinged back, but rather had a push on back. And apparently that um, did not work out very well. So about a month or so into production, uh, Kodak decides to change the design to this bottom hinge. Uh, back and the top latch that you see here. So these three cameras here are actually number one brownie cameras. Now they are identical to the original brownie, the improved version of the original brownie camera, but the name was changed to number one brownie after the introduction of number two brownie, which gave us the 120 film that we all know and love. The composition of this camera is cardboard wrapped uh, with leatherette. The inside is cardboard, wood, and brass. These cameras used 117 roll of film. And I did shoot with uh, one of those cameras. I, what I did is I took 120 film and I re-spooled it on the 117 spools. And it gave me exactly six pictures and I'll share these at the end of the video. There were a few accessories available with these cameras because as you can see, none of them had a proper viewfinder. They had this clip-on viewfinder available as an option. It's rather dim, but it, it works for, for what it is. Without the viewfinder, now this camera uses a simple meniscus lens. There's no aperture setting, it's all preset. It was, me it was meant to be simple, easy to use, ready to go. Uh, you did not fiddle with anything. It just, uh, you set it and forget it like George Foreman's girl. And um, that, that was the beauty of it. Simple meniscus lens, simple one, aperture which was about f16s in modern um, standards or f22 maybe even this was very simple design meant to be used as is there's no fiddling with aperture there's no fiddling with uh, speed there's nothing simple meniscus lens uh, simple aperture, one type aperture, which is uh, equivalent above f16 or f22 in, in modern, uh, modern standards. Simple, cheap design. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this um, overview of this simple yet beautiful brownie camera. And I hope you enjoy the, the simple pictures uh, taken with this. Uh, with this little beauty and if you need to learn more about these uh, there are great resources online uh, there are great websites that you can um, get more information on this particular model or any other uh, brownie models out there